Hey everyone, Mike here, Hardcore Italian's owner and CEO. Happy St. Joseph's Day. We're celebrating today. I'm wearing red. And we're also going to get some Zeppole. We're at the Hardcore Italian's warehouse in the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. And we're going to go visit Harlem Avenue, which is turning into the new little Italy in Chicago. We're going to visit our friends Il Giordano, awesome family Italian bakery. They do all our Christmas cookies every year and they do all the Italian desserts. So we're going to go. They're going to show us how they get it done. And we're going to eat some Zeppole. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. So, these are traditional okay. zeppola. In Italy, they just kind of put filling on top, but when we Americanize them a little bit, and uh, what you do is cut them open. And then when we fill them, we open it up and we fill it with whatever filling. Traditionally, 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 it's with custard and amarena, which is black cherry. Um, that doesn't sell as much so much anymore. So really, custard and cannoli are most popular, but we have a whole bunch of different flavors. We do pistachio, we do Nutella, uh, we do amarena with French cream, and then we also do a French cream and strawberry. Voila! Eccolo qui! Natural. Enzo, I got one question. This is an important question. Give it to me. Enzo the Baker from The Godfather. Were you named after him or I him was, after you? I was not. I think he was named after me, but I have to hear it every time that I go to a fantasy I football thought, I, I thought it was him after you, so I just want to clarify. It's the reason I have to bring cannolis everywhere. Right, I go. we want to clarify that for the fans. So it, he was named after you. I probably, okay. most likely, yeah. All right, good. good. My father's name is Vince. When we were born, my dad said he has to be named Mark. Every one of our groups of families, cousins, has a Vince in the family. So my grand, my dad's like, oh, it's the first boy, we're gonna name him Mario. And my grandfather, grandfather was like, not so fast. You can name him Mario, but you gotta call him Vince. And Enzo is Vincenzo. Vincenzo yeah, it's yeah. the nickname for, for right. Vince. And that's how my life got very complicated very quickly. So. Then, the Godfather came, was then the Godfather came along and the rest is Yeah, then I became famous. <laughs> Just for the Zeppelin, do you have to pick up production and things like that? Oh yeah, it's crazy. It's um, probably our third busiest holiday, so it's a um, madhouse here. And we do sell them throughout Easter as well, so it's not like if you don't come in then... Yeah, I know yeah, some bakeries awesome. only have them seasonally or whatever, so... Yeah, cool. no, nope, we have them till Easter. Alright, um, tell us a little bit about the business and just how you guys started this and you know the, the tradition of everything. So, uh, originally my parents started the bakery over 40 years ago. They started as a small shop, just um, baking some cakes, and then uh, 40 years later, here we are. We make cookies, cakes, pastries. We do a ton of wholesale business. Um, it's just been, it's been great. So, still kicking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all family business, still, right? Yes, still a family business. It's, uh, it's me and my brother now, so um, we're keeping, you know, as much as we can going. And where's um, you guys' family background in Italy? So originally we are from Bari. My dad was from Carbonara, and then my mom was from Chade de Campo, two little small towns. And um, then they just migrated here. So okay. And they were, did they like? Is that where they picked up most of their like skills with the bakery? Yes. Yeah, so my dad, when he came here, he I'm gonna be honest, he was kind of self-taught himself. It was one of those, you know, kind of somebody asked him for a cake, and he was like, oh, I can, I can do that, and he made awesome. a cake. So, <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. That's where it all started, yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. All right, so we got four different ones here. Do you want to explain a little bit about which 
which one's which and which sure. one sell the most? Yeah, of course. So uh, this is going to be the traditional, we say now the traditional custard. This is going to be a cannoli filled. These two are going to be a little bit of a variation that we came up with, but they're amazing. This is a Nutella and this is a pistachio. Which one are you going to pick? I don't know. <laughs> I want the normal. This one. All right, you want to take Unless the one. Unless you want that one. No, I don't care. Okay. I couldn't even eat in front of Mike on our first date. Not gonna eat the camera. I'm telling you, I'm gonna. 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 I'm eating properly because I'm on camera. I have the traditional ones. Really, like I here, would shove it down. I was gonna say, just you know, go at it. That's yeah. Why are we using forks? Mm -hmm. It's so one. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's literally the best thing I've ever eaten ever. Mm -hmm. Nutella one's awesome too. Mm -hmm. oh my god. This is I've so good. Just a normal one. Try the Nutella. You want to try it? No, thanks. Try the Nutella. See what oh you're god. curious what you're gonna like. I like the normal. Mm -hmm. That one's so good too, but I like this one. <laughs> I like them both, but I feel like for the first time, it's good to have the original one. You know? Yeah, I know. Come you on, guys. guys. Have one? You guys, how many? Which one is which? So this is gonna be the pistachio and cannoli. That's the Nutella. Oh, that's the custard. Look at this. Nutella one's awesome. Yeah, show me the same. Let's try the pistachio. I'm not used to like handling. Yeah, so what's the other one? Cannoli and pistachio. Yeah. Right, come on. Oh my God. That this Nutella one's probably the best one. That one is awesome. So good. Mm. That's how you eat them. Mm -hmm. You just bite right in. Yeah, them. you're it's right. It's delicious. Oh my god. I'm serious. Got a whole I'm I, serious about my food. We should have on camera. Look at how he eats. Yeah, right. I know. That's what you should get. Yeah. I mean, we could do it. I like one like that. Go ahead. I just figured we're trying. Sunny. We're trying to. That's how Guy Fieri does. He gets it all over Sunny, get a video of Mike eating it normal. Oh <laughs> I love cannoli cake. My naughty gets me one for my birthday every year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cannoli cake. Mm -hmm. That's how you deserve to be fond of it. I definitely would not be having a fork on a regular day. No way. No. Or even hold it like this. No way, yes. Like cannoli. Yeah. The, there's one pistachio. Take it. It's not hard for what? It's not hard for you to fork. You gotta get in there. And things like the zeppelin. Like in the beginning when we first start making, because we only make them for so many months. It's like, oh my god, the zeppelin. Yeah, we're all yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is Isn't that good? I did it. Oh, it's good. Oh my god, oh my this god. was amazing. You said it's like gelato. Isn't it tastes like yeah. it's so good. I love custard so much. I love your stuff, guys. It's wonderful. I just picked up my sister. She's from North Carolina, and she's wearing one of your shirts right now. Did okay. you get Zeppeli too? I did. I got nice. a Boston cream Zeppeli and a cannoli cake. So. <laughs> you guys are all set. All right, awesome. Love you. it. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Get the door for you. That's what I was out there thank for. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> What a guy! Alright guys, so that was Il Giardino Bakery on Harlem Avenue in Chicago. If you guys need Zeppeli, this is your place to go. 10 out of 10, right? What would you yes, rate it? 10 out of 10, all the way. Very good. And guys, if you don't know the tradition of how Zeppeli got started, in Italy in the old days, there was a drought and Italians were starving. It was in Sicily and they were dependent on fava beans for their food. So they prayed every day to St. Joseph for it to rain and it rained. So basically the tradition started to where they have a feast and every St. Joseph's Day, they have a feast in his honor because they never forgot the day that St. Joseph gave them rain. So now, they literally did that on purpose. I know. So that's where the tradition started, where they would eat desserts, and basically every year there's tables, and people would donate free food and, and give to the needy, give to the poor, because the Italians felt like they've been there and they understood starvation and, and it's a way to give back and thank St. Joseph. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Also comment if you want us to visit anywhere else in Chicago. And guys, get your St. Joseph teas on hardcoreitalians.com and happy St. Joseph's Day to all of you.